bottoms out. Oh shit, I bottomed out. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Nice. Oh shit. <laughs> Good morning, Goa, India. It's on the west coast, west coast of the Indian uh, land on the Indian Ocean. Beautiful, very relaxed, very raw. Nothing too modern over here. That's where my bike is. Planning to bring it to America. Start the morning with a cortado. I'm at my friend's uh, business. He owns six restaurants, cafes, a little resort. Beautiful. I'm staying here for a week. Came here with Nikki. We go to ride every morning on our Harleys. He's got a Sportster Iron 883 with uh, 65,000 miles on it. He took it already with him to the Himalayas for six years. Last year, actually, I went with him. And today, oh, there he is right there, back there. I want to try to do and actually, you know, So, tomorrow we go hunting. tomorrow we're going for a three or four day journey to the mountains, to a beautiful area. It's off the grid and a place with temples shrines built into the into the scenery stay, stay tuned for that it's going to be really cool but today we're going for an hour uh roll i'm going to try and tell you a little bit about the bike and why i bought the bike a lot of questions that i've seen that people are asking is like i don't get it i'll explain in this video hey come over here yeah come over here good doggy yeah yes <laughs> Playful. That's the Iron 883. Moshe's Iron 83. Seen quite a few miles. Could you believe an Iron 83 doing 65,000 miles? Okay, here's the bike. Starting the morning in uh, in Goa, Anjuna Goa. time of the year it's a very tropical area mornings are extremely extremely foggy we're just by the by the ocean it's now seven o'clock in the morning got up early before the kids go to school um, there we go it's always fun to see how the locals Turn their head twist. It's a head twister over here. A Harley, a Harley motorcycle, especially the V-twin. You know, as small, relatively small as it as it is. Moshe's Iron 883. Everybody twists their head when they hear that that V-twin thump. Now the new Harley, the X440 that I'm on. It's relatively new over here. I was one of the earlier, earlier uh, bikes to be delivered. So you don't see too many of them out there. So whenever we're, we're riding, people turn their head. They can't understand what the heck, what the heck that is. It's a new uh, setup that I'm trying over here. I put, I put the, the microphone, the DJI microphone right over here in my helmet on top over here on the visor and hopefully it's going to be picking up what I'm saying right now so uh, once we get out of the village areas I'll tell you about uh, this motorcycle and why I decided to get it look how foggy it is this morning very foggy today <clears throat> This morning should clear up very soon. Look at this fog. <laughs> Crazy. I have to turn my fog lights on by hazards so I'll be seen. Wow, crazy. 
I don't know if you can see the sun rising up there. It was out for a second. So for those of you that don't know, I'll tell you my background. I've been riding motorcycles since I'm 18 years old with a, a long break about, oh shit, I bottomed out. <laughs> I uh, have a long uh, period, about 18 years when my kids were growing up that I did not ride. My first Harley was, uh, I got only four years ago. I was never a Harley guy. This is actually my fourth Harley. Why am I saying uh, that that's just, uh, I'm relatively new to Harley? It's, there's a saying that when you're, when you're new to a place, when you're a guest, you actually see all the flaws or you see you're able to see the fine details that people that have been in a place for so long can see so I'm relatively new and uh, fell in love with the brand with the motorcycle with the vibe with with the feeling with uh, the culture everything and one thing that I've noticed that is very uh, very apparent when you come from out is the age the average age of the typical Harley rider I, I'd say it's around 50, 50-ish, and it's not changing much. The age stays at, uh, it actually gets older. Now the main reason is that there's no young, new riders coming into the brand. And uh, you say to yourself, okay, why is that? And the obvious, to me it's obvious, obvious reason is the bikes are extremely expensive. And what I mean extremely, it's all relative to the competition. Bikes are expensive. There's no true entry level, price wise, uh, motorcycle. So for the longest time, I've been, I, I'm not vocal, but my opinion for the longest time among my friends and sometimes in my videos is that trying to push Harley, like Harley, go, go, get us a, a small bike, a small entry-level bike, lightweight and uh, competitively priced. So uh, you can compete against the other companies, uh, all the Japanese companies that put out motorcycles which are uh, affordable for a 20-year-old. 20, 25 year old. The cheapest bike today for Harley is uh, the Sportster, the bike that they just dropped the price from 13 and a half to 12,000 US dollars. And that's still, although it's the cheapest bike on Harley's lineup, it's still an expensive bike. Very few 25 year olds can afford a luxury item like they can for that price buy a nice used car. Whereas when you're getting a, a cheaper, nice Japanese bike, which would be probably probably half the price. So for the longest time, I'm like, Harley, you need to get yourself a, a cheap, okay, I don't want to use the term cheap, a more affordable bike. And that way get, get young riders in. And once the young rider is in, the family falls in love with the brand, with the culture, with everything. You guys know already, right? I don't need to explain how much this brand is a, a cultural thing for you, an emotional thing for you. So once you get a rider into the Harley family, they stay, they stay in the family and they just grow. And by that way, you're bringing new blood into the family, to the Harley family. So that is my opinion, to bring uh, young, new riders into the Harley brand. How do you do that? Well, create a affordable, cool, appealing to the young bike. Now Harley did that and launched this bike, which is great, which is, I'm, I'm so happy they did it. But for now, from what, of, uh, what the press is saying, if this bike is uh, intended for the uh, Indian market, I'm not sure if it's uh, gonna be out of India, whether if it's Indian or the Asian market, but currently it's only sold in India. And this bike is actually a collaboration between the biggest, and I'm saying, and I say I don't, it's not an exaggeration, check it out. The biggest motorcycle company in the world, the most sold units in the world, 
Hero Corporation. So Hero and Harley Davidson built this bike together. Now I'm not quite sure what their bit. Nobody knows what their agreement is and who this bike, it, uh, where this bike it can be sold or not sold. But when I heard the launch uh, that they're coming out with this engine, with this bike, I said I gotta get me one. Why? Because I, I, first of all, I like a second bike, and if it's gonna be a Harley bike and a small, nimble for in-town kind of bike, then uh, I want to have one. And uh, when they came out with it, they said, this bike is going to be only for the Indian market. So then I started to, uh, you know, how do, I, how do I get one of these bikes in my garage? Additionally, as a YouTube uh, content creator, you always want to find something interesting to talk about, to show you guys something new, something interesting, something unique, to be the first, the first to talk about it, right? Journalists, that's what they do. Not, I'm a mini journalist, okay? You always want to have that cutting uh, edge of news to bring to, to the viewers. Now, this would be a great item if I have this unique opportunity to bring to my viewers, to you guys, first, be one of the first uh, out there to put, uh, to get hold of this bike. Since uh, I travel the world a lot with my job and uh, I have this opportunity to, to buy this bike, I said it's gonna be great, great content, uh, great content to work with. Five kilometers? 25. 25 kilometers. So I'm gonna shut the camera off over here. I'll get back to you once we're off the highway. You know what? I'll show you a little bit of the highway. Okay. Okay, we're going on uh, a highway. He's not gonna be waiting for me because he goes obviously faster. So I'm doing now 100 kilometers per hour which is uh, 65, and with these roads and conditions and traffic and people walking and cows and dogs, it's considered extremely, extremely fast. So, okay, after hearing the launch of this motorcycle, and for be it being intended only for the Indian market, I realize I have a, a small edge over here on the other people, is that I have access to the Indian market, not because I'm Indian, I'm not. Uh, one of my friends, one of my classmates actually, that uh, when I was growing up in Israel, he's been living in India for the last 35 years, and we reunited about a year ago. And when I heard this launch of the uh, X440, I thought it would be a great idea if there's any way to buy one and ship it to America be the first one on YouTube, well not first one, but one of the first from my market to bring the news, to show the bike, gives me an edge. So I went for it. <laughs> Watch it buddy. My friend ran all the bureaucracy needed and now we're going to try and uh, figure out how I can bring it to uh, back to New Jersey. And that's why I got this bike. We're gonna stop over here at uh, Adaba, Mazadaba. It's, this is where, this is where I get my food, food poisoning. <laughs> now, <Nah, it's, laughs> because my stomach is still not used to it. My stomach is still not ready for this. We'll know t no, later on today, you're gonna have breakfast over here. All the big bikes come over here, right? This is the place? Yeah, this is the place. The Hayabusa's, all the sports bike, a nice sport bike over there. Triumph, I'm not sure, the RS, yeah. Okay, breakfast over here. We're gonna have uh, Baji. What, Baji? Uh, coconut Baji. This dude is enjoying his food. Enjoy. What the fuck is that? Oh shit, he just blew a tire. Fuck. See, you heard that that blast? He just blew his tire over there. That shit happens.
Street Triple. See, yeah, Street Triple. What is it, 900 or 1200? 765. 765? Nice. Butterfly bread. Butterfly bread. See why. It's butterfly shape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dig in. Guys are witnessing, okay? You you knew exactly when I got poisoned, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we have a big ride. Maybe you shouldn't eat. You wait on your bike. <laughs> your stomach getting accustomed to the... Actually, I'm not allowed the, the coconut. makes me acidity. But I like it so it's much. It's a matter of the... It's actually good. Not too spicy, man. Let's go. Carrots and... Cauliflower, cauliflower and um, garbanzo beans. This is very good actually. Mm -hmm. Really good. I'll show you. Yeah, I did the first one to the Rims. I went Another one. It's, it's that good. Let's go. Mi po es lanu maslul, ah, because that is what they must do. The chip is delicious. That was delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. That was good. Now we're gonna head back, uh, back home, back to the home. back after this great breakfast delicious breakfast well obviously it's louder obviously there was police uh, radar over here I don't know how much we're going let me move to the side Yes. Yeah.